Swing and a miss. And down goes Eric Osberg. So two strikeouts for Jacob Christian, however, in game number one yesterday afternoon. And he takes one deep to left field. This ball is deep. And it's gone. Anthony Gatto goes yard again. That home run number four for him. And the Retrievers have tied it up at four. If it, Anthony Gatto making his last appearance here at Alumni Field, and it is memorable. Solo home run for the Retrievers. Raven Beeman center lined up to the right of second base. He rung him up. Bardzell goes down with his second strikeout of the day. Number four for Jacob Christian. And this is grounded to third base. Ward will fire a second. The throw to first is not in time. So Wright beats out the throw. Anthony Gatto will score. And UMBC takes a 2-1 to one lead. Here's Hunter Dalton. Swinging first pitch. Going into the left center field gap. This ball is deep. And it is gone. Hunter Dalton does it again. What a shot as he goes into the gap, over the wall, touch them all, and Hunter Dalshin hits home run number 12. He just keeps on crushing. He's not a player, but he crushes a lot. And he ends up hitting home run number 12, and UMBC takes a 4-1 to one lead. And here's A.J. Wright, deep to left field. This ball is deep. And it is gone. A.J. Wright with the second home run in the inning. The second off La Rosa. And the Retrievers take a 5-1 to one lead. A.J. Wright, the freshman from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. It's home run number three of the season. RBI number 26. And the Retrievers are up 5-1. to one. We keep Kevin LaChance's bat in the lineup. Osberg reaches out on that one. And he will go down on the strikeout. There's out number two in the inning. Lachance, high chop to the shortstop. It gets into Roosh's glove and out. So, Raven Beeman will score. Kevin Lachance will reach as that ball was chopped to Roosh on, on the tough hop. He was unable to come up with it cleanly. So an error awarded to hop or to Roosh. And the Retrievers add another run. Make it 6-3. to three. Chop towards the middle of the infield. Guy will get past Roosh in the center field. One will score. Lachance coming around and he will score. And the Retrievers take an 8-3 to three lead courtesy of the 2-RBI single by Hunter Dalshin. RBI number 45 for him. And he continues to swing a hot bat. Swatowski drives one to center field. Del Debio's there. Anthony Gatto can easily score on the league leading eighth sacrifice fly from Jamie Swatowski. And the Retrievers take a 9 to 3 advantage. The most safe scored in the series. Kelly with the chopper that gets past Ward at third base. Dolshin will score. Coming around third quickly is Nauman. And the Retrievers had two more runs on the two RBI single from Tim Kelly. There's one on the inside part. Lachance makes an underhand throw. And the out is called there at first base. So nice job by Kevin Lachance making the shovel to Connor Hacks fielding. It's a one. It looks like Gatto is going to be lifted for a pinch runner here as Gatto will exit in his final appearance here at Alumni Field. So Anthony Gatto exits to applause as on senior day he caps off his career with a 7 for 9 series. Three walks, two home runs, three RBI. Anthony Gatto leaves in his final appearance and he is replaced by number 25. Dennis Mickish as a pinch runner here on Senior Day. Hunter Dalshin on the day has a home run. He has four RBI. And Hunter Dalshin smokes one to center, and this ball is gone. Hunter Dalshin does it again 
home run number 13. Another home run in this series. Two, uh, two home run game, and the Retrievers have broke this one open even farther. 13 home runs on the year for Hunter Dolshin. 13 runs scored today. The Retrievers taking care of business on Senior Day, 13 to three. And they run him up. Down goes Campana. Andrew Casale gets the strikeout to get UMBC out of the inning. Swing and a miss. Throw down the first base in time. So there's strikeout number two this season for Michael Kirschbaum. It's a low home run. And Kirschbaum run, rings up the batter. Pitch inside. So Hartford down to their final out here as... He gets the second out of the inning by strikeout. They're one and two in neutral site games this season as there's a swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt. The throw down the first bounces and it gets there. So the Retrievers are going to win this one 13 to four. UMBC improves to 28 and 21 on the season, 13 and 10 on the year in the America East while Hartford falls to 37 or 36 and 16 14 and 9 in the America East the Retrievers heading to the America East conference tournament with wins in nine in the, their last 10 games